Hi, my name is Tim and this is Otis and today we are going to be talking about memory safety. Aren't we Otis? Yes, I love memory safe programs and robust software. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> if you have listened to me talk or you've listened to any Rust programmer probably, they've said, oh, memory safety is really, really important. And in fact, it doesn't have to be someone related to Rust that cares about these sorts of things. It turns out that memory safety is a very significant component of maintaining programs that are safe and secure. By safe, I mean the prevents unauthorized access to both of the data that is stored inside memory as well as uh, actually use of the entire computer. And by stable, I mean that uh, free from crashes. <laughs> One of the ways that the computer guards itself against invalid access is to shut down the program. And so if you ever have a program just crash on you, sometimes the cause is actually memory safety. So what is memory safety? Well, <laughs> imagine memory, physical chips, uh, being a warehouse. And the warehouse, uh, it has like some number of, like a large number of rows of uh, shelves and the shelves have boxes in them and serving the boxes are forklifts. And it turns, so let's, in like our workers or our staff ask for some data which is stored in a box in memory on the shelves in our warehouse and then forklifts need to go and go and get the memory. But sometimes pro, pro, poorly, uh, in, a memory safe program always only accesses their own box <laughs> and only and only deletes things once and that seems really obvious but it turns out that in a sufficiently large program this has been proven impossible to get right by people the bookkeeping of making sure that we only touch the boxes that we're allowed to has is almost it's it has been an insurmountable engineering problem. It's impossible to get, it's impossible to pay people enough money to get this right. And uh, instead, some programs like to go and like pick up other people's memory and kind of read what's inside the box. <laughs> other people like to, or other programs like to go in and just like deposit their own data into some other box. Or do things like, uh, request that a box is like deleted let's say we're archiving it so we're just going to send it all to uh, the landfill we, or we're going to recycle it because we're, we're responsible people we're sending it to the uh, the recycling plant and uh but instead of just recycling our own stuff we some other part of the same program goes and asks for that data to be deleted twice and that's a problem because you can only really delete your own data once and in between those two periods, you might have a problem where someone else has written to the space that was now made available after the first delete. And so this is where all of these stability problems come in because the, uh, the computer is trying to do its best and provide the shared resource, these physical memory chips, to every, pro every computer process that's running. And there might be hundreds or thousands of them running at the same time on your computer or on your phone or in your microwave or in your car or in your pacemaker or in any sort of software system. Programming in a memory safe way is critical for ensuring the stability and safety and security of these programs. Without memory safety, it is essentially <clears throat> like guaranteed that you're gonna run into a bug that will just bring you down. Uh, and it's gonna impact your users. It's going to mean like longer on-call. It's going to mean, because suddenly you need to debug an issue and figure out like why it is that, that your boxes were deleted twice or whatever it was. Don't accept complaints that say, oh, it's too hard or it's really too difficult or we don't like it um, because there's no need anymore to use unsafe programming languages. There's no performance gain benefit by using more raw memory handling yourself. You don't need to do the bookkeeping. 
Computers are really good at bookkeeping. <laughs> Actually, they're very, very good at it. You don't need to manage pointers yourself. Use a language that will do this for you. Uh, so that was my explanation. Unfortunately, Otis has run away. I've taken far too long. Hopefully that's been useful. Bye-bye.